peeps, what's going on? It's Carly here back with another episode. This one is probably the last one I do before I head out to Vegas. Flight is in T minus six hours. So when this uploads, I'm probably somewhere in the air, Toronto, Vegas area. So of course, this is my 2017 tech travel pack guide. All the stuff that you see here, I'm obviously bringing to Vegas. Most of this will highlight some of the most interesting and mobile tech that I bring with me on my journeys. And as per usual, one of these items, going to one of you lucky peeps. Check that link down below in the description. Getting back on that giveaway train, I know we had a massive December. Just make sure to leave a comment down below which one of these items is your fave. And on my next episode of my tech travel bag guide, I'll announce the winner. It's pretty simple. And we'll kick off 2017 with my favorite pack of last year, and I see this being my favorite pack of 2017 as well. This is the Air SF Duffel, and hands down the best feature has to be this front-loading zipper on the front. Now you don't have to rifle through your entire bag to find stuff that sits at the bottom, which is so, so handy when you're traveling. It's made out of ballistic nylon, is super durable, it has little to no branding, and maybe one of my favorite compartments sits right at the bottom, which hides a pair of sneakers, which I'll share at the end. I'll keep that little surprise till then. To the laptop of choice, and to many of you, this might be a bit of a surprise. It's the Surface Book i7. This just got released 2016. This is their little refresh of the original Surface Book. Obviously this lovely skin, none other than Dbrand's carbon black, orange, everything linked down below, of course. Switching to mobile now, we've got the best in the business on both ends of the spectrum. Obviously, iPhone 7 Plus, Google Pixel XL, both wrapped in carbon black. You can't go wrong with either of these devices. Whichever operating system you prefer, these are the kings of the hill. If you could have two kings on the hill, this would be them, and these are both coming with me on my trip. Headphones, we've got two this time around, and you probably know the first pair, which I've talked enough about on the channel. These are the Bose QC35s. Whenever you're traveling, these are hands down the best noise canceling headphones that you can grab. Matte black colorway, battery life, eight to nine hours. So no matter how long of a flight, unless you're going more than eight to nine hours, these are your go-to pairs. Second headphones, which I've surprisingly been loving, and I think these might be one of the coolest things that Apple has come out with this year, especially for a Gen 1 product, Apple AirPods. Primarily use these for the gym as I can't stand having cables when I'm working out, and if you've ever tried a pair of wireless earbuds, once you've tried these, they just put everything else to shame. Yeah, they're expensive, but I think they're just best in class as well. Battery life, you're looking at around four to five hours, but pop them into this little case and you're looking at an additional three hours with just a 15 minute charge, which isn't too shabby. Camera of choice and the one that I'm probably bringing to CS, I'm torn between bringing this guy and the A7R Mark II, but this is the A6300, way more portable, way lighter, and has to be my favorite vlogging camera as you can still attach an external microphone on it, records in 4K. I know the A6500 is out, but if you pair it with this lens, the 10 to 18, this has got optical stabilization, OSS, optical steady shot, Sony calls it it becomes the perfect vlogging rig. As you've got a super wide angle lens, it isn't too heavy, and you could just pair this with the KC Nice Stat combo right here, which is another item which I'm about to tell you about. And there we go. This is the mini Joby Gorillapod, really intended to use with a GoPro, but if you pair this with the A6300, as this camera isn't too heavy, this becomes maybe one of the sweetest and most compact vlogging rigs that you can grab. And no, I already know you people trolling in the comments, these are not anal beads. Who thinks of that? How do you even know what they look like? Internet, mind blown sometimes, I just, I have no idea. With all that 4K footage, I usually transition it over to this guy, which is the CalDigit Tough hard drive. And I know it is USB-C, primarily made for the brand new MacBook Pros, but I can't get away that it's orange. And when I saw the color, I knew that I had to grab it. It's durable, it's actually waterproof. So if you're looking for something super rugged, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keeping things fully juiced up in my pack, this is the Easy ACC Power Bank, 10,000 milliamps of juice. I decided to go for a bit of a smaller one just to reduce the weight as I've got a ton of different things to carry. This will help keep my phones fully charged up, plus my camera, anything that utilizes a USB peripheral. It's also got Quick Charge 3.0, so the Pixel XL, for example, can take full advantage of that. 
Next two items, you cannot underestimate how vital these guys are. Standard pen, which no one seems to have when you're on a plane. You need to fill out those weird little immigration forms and handy little notebook to jot down notes, to take down numbers. You just never know when you might need a pen and paper. Muji, Horizon Pen, both linked below, super dope colorways, and they are so, so cheap to buy. These are just essentials that you need in any tech travel pack. And this obviously wouldn't be one of my videos without having a pair of shades. I know that it's not that warm in Vegas to tell you the truth. Bringing though a pair of Oakley's frog skins gotta be, these are the Eric Costin editions. They've got hints of orange and some camo on the side. Super dope. And of course, I could not forget the pair of kicks that I've been bringing or will be rocking on the showroom floor. I can't even tell you how lucky I was when I snagged a pair of triple blacks. Someone came into the store while I was actually shopping. They returned these for whatever reason. Happened to be my size. It was a no brainer for me. I think these are super limited, especially up in Canada. They have ridiculously low stock. These could be my grails, I think. And I think that will pretty much wrap up this episode of the best 2017 tech travel bag guide. And just remember, you can win one of these random items. Just leave a comment down below which your favorite one was. I'm just not giving these away. Who would want dirty shoes anyways, right? Also, make sure to follow me somewhere over on social to stay updated with all of my CES coverage. And I will hopefully catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or in one of my vlogs. Peace.